So you're good friends with Wolfie. And how do you guys, what's your relationship like? Can you tell me about being, because I know that Wolfie cares very much for you. <laughs> I love Wolfie. Um, our relationship, what do you mean by relationship? Tell me about being a human with a wolf. Um, she considers me my, her human, so I do treat her like a pet. What do you mean by that? I walk her and she listens. Like, she's like my dog. Like, to me, she is a dog. Every Saturday, all the kids go to the mall, and those are the mall wolves. And my sister started first, <clears throat> and she started wearing a tail and all that for Wolfie. And I don't do it normally, but for Wolfie, I would do it any day. Since Wolfie's kind of told me, you're officially in the pack now. You're officially part of our family. She's gonna give me a tail and that'll be what I do. Even before I met Wolfie in the pack, I mean, I always grew up with a bunch of dogs and animals. I was just an only child around animals all the time. And so I kind of just had that in me. But then when I met Wolfie, it was just kind of like, she was kind of a long lost sister and the pack was kind of a family that I fit into. I'm a werewolf in the sense that I guess it's kind of a spirit more than anything. Like we're not kind of bound by human rules or thoughts. Wolfie is probably one of the most interesting people I've ever met. She's smart and funny and she's just a leader of something that she kind of created and it's just taken off because I guess there's a lot of people that feel like they need a family. Hi, I'm Wolfie Blackheart. I'm 18 and from San Antonio, Texas. I'm the alpha female of the Crimson Blood Wolf Pack. We're basically a family and we, we run in the same structure as most wolves would. Um, a lot of my family is Blackfoot Native American and uh, I've known I was a wolf since a really young age. Well, I had a big following because I usually go to the conventions and I meet a lot of people and um, I had got accused of killing and beheading a dog. I did behead him, I didn't kill him. He was my friend, his name was Shadow. And uh, he got hit by a car and they brought his corpse to me and they asked me to get his skull, so I did. But the owner's girlfriend took a picture of him and uh, they put it online and that's what caused all the fuss. I've had people at GameStop ask me for autographs or to take pictures or like, just like beg to hug me, like stuff like that. And I, I don't mind, like you can come up and hug me. It, it, I find it funny that they really like, will freak out about it. I don't really get it. For all the kids, thank you. I, I haven't been able to reach them any other way because I don't have internet either. You got everyone and their mother claiming to be a wolf and a leader of a pack. But when it comes down to actual like respect and sticking up for it, people don't even know what alpha means and you know. I think honestly like Hollywood's what's got it really really hyped up because they relate it to it a lot but a lot of the things they talk about like aren't true. Most, almost 100% of the things that they talk about are really a lot of bullshit. Like a lot of people would say oh you're allergic to silver. I personally am allergic to silver and nickel but not all werewolves are. Like it's an individualistic thing like someone can be allergic to flowers you know. Um, we don't, it, you don't change into a furry bloodthirsty beast on the full moon. But I try to set a good example. I really do. I do make mistakes. But we all do. I, I have. I love humans. I like girls. Human girls. Like, I like being told what to do. So I like to feel like a pet sometimes. I have nothing. Like nothing to lose. We're gonna live and we're all gonna die. Like I might as well have fun and be who I am on the way. <laughs> Yes, my dad is a wolf.